pet squirrel. El Chapo. What's going on, buddy? You having mango? He's liking the mangoes this week. Got some of them to try, and he loves them. Look at him. He's a good boy. He's doing. He was sluggish here like a week ago, and now he's doing good. But we'll be heading into a dump that I found like a week ago in this video, and I made some pretty more some more pretty good finds. Um, there he goes for the grape. Um, I only had two hours to dig. I had to work on a video and I didn't get up there till four o'clock and it's dark at like six here in Ohio. So, but I found some cool stuff. So I hope you enjoy the video and this old boy will be in future videos. We'll let him eat. He's loving that stuff. Look at him. He peels the grape. See all the peels there on the ground and then he eats the inside. Tell him you don't like the skin on the grapes. What a good boy. All right, folks, enjoy the video. I'm going to head back up after uh, I feed him here and eat lunch. So part two will be on here to this video in a day or two. Later. Whoo, I'm out of breath. I got this, got this uh, shoveled out. To where down into where I need to be. I've been digging for like 15 minutes. I just got here. It's later in the day. I had to work on a video, but I'm going to try to find a few things. I'll get back when I see something cool if I do. Like five minutes in, a couple minutes, and I still saw a marble roll up back in here. Chances are it's going to be awesome on this dump. Yeah. It's a marble, but it just looks like a solid blue one. Hold on. Yeah. Just a solid baby blue one. I don't see any other swirl to it, but it's a bond. I'll get back if I see anything else. Well, it's the first 20 minutes, and I found this bottle before. I know what it is before I even pick it up. I got a nice amber poison bottle. Hopefully, it's not broke. It says poison on it, too. It looks good. All right, folks. You know, it's after four o'clock. I had to work on my video I'm putting on tonight. It's Saturday, man, this is nice. It's amber. You know, this is only like a $10 poison. It's one of the most common ones, but it's cork top and it's still really nice. Um, I'll clean it up and show it with a good camera at the end of this. Man, that's nice. It looks to be perfect. That's a scorcher for me. You know, I'll take a hundred of these and put them in my house. They're awesome. The really cool bottles. It's nice condition too, man. It's perfect. All the bottles here, I'm on a hill like this, so the water drains away quick. There isn't even much uh, like water residue, like staining. All right, later. Really paying off right there is an old soda bottle that's all embossed up. I don't know what this is, but it surely looks nice. Ace high. I have one of these, but man, this is nice condition. Let me get it cleaned off. It's got a town name. I think it says Cleveland. Yeah, just let me do it here. I can't. I only got limited time. Ace high. Miller Becker. It's a panel bottle. I think it says Cleveland. I'll try to find the other one I have. Cleveland oh, Ace High Aqua Soda Bottle. That's pretty nice. That's real nice. So we're on it. I got that poison. I got all this other stuff here too. I haven't shown a lot of it. Here's a, an old mussel shell. Um, there's some weird looking things. That's got an ornate, like Bakelite looking cap on it. You don't see them much with perfect caps. I'll probably take that cap, but I'll get back. I just got this. It's another one of them first McNess, Freeport, Illinois, USA. Embossed. It's only like a dollar bottle, but I better get this before this cave's down. I've already had one cave in. Do you see it? I think I got a Daymaker marble. I saw it flash. It's right here. Oh, it's, it's, it's nice. Hold on. Let me get it cleaned off. 
you know, it's pretty nice. Um, it's it's like some kind of cat, weird cat eye. Here, hold on. One. There, my screen was dirty. It's some kind of weird cat eye. It's kind of nice. It's old. Um, nothing to brag about. Not as nice as what I thought, but still pretty decent. Later. All right, I'll let you see this. Right here's a flask. We'll just go ahead and pull this out. It's one of them ones with the grapes on it from the late 30s. But right here's a mason jar with an eight on it. It's about ready to come, but I'm going to dig around it. Hold on, I'll just do it live. Man, there's a lot of masons and stuff in here. I've had multiple cave-ins. I've been here a while now, but I've had to dig out clay cap that fell down in the hole and it's brutal. Maybe we can rake something out here beside it while well, I'm doing it. I'm looking. Hopefully this ain't broke. It's got a crude eight on it. It's not break. It's a ball perfect mason and it's dropped L. So it's early 1900s. And it's beautiful glass. And it's got a real crude big aid on it. You can see it there. That's a good another good find. I'll get back if I see anything else, folks. I don't just this video will be much shorter than the last one. If you didn't get to watch my last dump digging video, I'll put the last one up here where I started in this hole. I found some really nice milk bottles. I'm going to try to find one milk and leave because it's going to be dark in an hour later. You know, here's a Sistersville, West Virginia Coke bottle. It fell right out of the top of the layer. It's nice condition. It's so muddy though. I'm not cleaning it off here. I'm just taking it. I have hundreds of them, but it's a cool find. Let's just rake out this little cork top, but it's unembossed. Stink. But... While I was looking at it, I spied a marble. It looks pretty nice. Let me get it cleaned off. Hold on. Well, this didn't look that good with dirt all over it. Look at that. Wow. I'd say that's an alley agate. It's a real milky base, like white, almost like porcelain with a two-color green swirl to it. And part of the green's clear base, and it's real nice condition. That's a beauty, folks, for that frame. Man, I'm on it again today. Um, later, I'll get back on my next one. Anything bad about this? I just pulled a big piece off of me right here. I'm gonna have to try to get up out of here. Oh, dig this out. This is what's been happening to me today. Oh. Who got buried. Uh, all right. I'm not going to stay too much longer. I'll probably dig this out. I've had to do this 10 times. Dig this out and get out of here. I found enough stuff. That green marble's awesome, and I got a poison in the mason jar. Um, can't beat that. I've only been, well, I've been here probably three hours, but I've only been able to dig in the lair for about. I don't know, an hour and 45 to two hours. We'll see Squirrel Man at the end. Later on, something before it goes, let me wipe this off. I mean, I got filthy today. All right, that's a little better. But this fell out. I'm cleaning out this hole from that cave in. And it's a deep hat and coat, but it's a West Virginia one. And it's from around World War II. The bigger letters are um, 40s. But this is Spencer, West Virginia, and I've never found it. Didn't even know they made it. Real nice condition. Spencer, West Virginia. All right. A good one for the end. Later. All right. We're going to look at a few things cleaned up from this video. Here's that one marble I found. Sorry if there was some film on the steam dirt on the camera lens. But this one's roached. You can see. It has a crack in it and tons of play wear. I couldn't really tell in the dump, but that one's ruined. But let's see. The green one I found right there is beautiful, and that blue one you can see has another darker blue swirl to it. And there's the frame of marbles I'm working on. A lot of these smokers, like this one and this one, and um, 
this one here. This blue one, they all come from this new dump. But here's the poison bottle I dug in this video, and I got a few more out. It's real nice. Real nice condition. Um, it's a nice bottle. But I got, I got another one like it. Right there. And then look at this one. It's just a little bit different, but it's a honey color. And I found this one a while ago. I haven't found a blue one for a while, but that thing's beautiful. That's a nice old poison bottle. But here's a few more. I got more of them too. These are just the ones I had handy. These make a pretty nice display. Just these ones here. It's nice to get another one. Um, here's another thing. I didn't film this. I thought it was cracked, but it just had film in it. It's an IGA, International Grocers Association. It says design, patent, applied for. Um, these are pretty nice food containers. They're be some of the best ones. I take them all, but I got it cleaned up and it looks brand new, as you can see. Um, so I thought I'd show you that. Here's the ball mason from this uh, video. I just had a Presto lid, but they kind of look good. I've dug a bunch of them in another dump, but it looks good on it. To go on the shelf, and it's got that crude aid on it. That's kind of a cool jar. You can see it there, real nice condition. Bubbles in the glass. That's a good find too. Um, check out this Coke, how nice a condition. Just looks like you could put Coke in it and drink it right off the shelf today. Um, and it's got the big script. It's Spencer, West Virginia, which I've not seen this one. I've never found it. And you can see right here's the date, one. 49 1949 the larger script versus the smaller the larger is older but that's a beautiful coke you know in collectible i could probably get ten dollars for that especially on the internet if i just run it at like ten to twelve dollars somebody from spencer west virginia or west virginia would probably buy it and especially because of the condition new caseware just awesome um Here's the Ace High. Luckily, I had found another one um, because you can see right there, there's a crack in it. But it still displays. It's still worth keeping. And this isn't a common soda. Um, but you can see there, nine fluid ounces Ace High. And they're embossed on the bottom. This one, you can't hardly read it. Um, but on the other one I have, that's perfect, you can. It says Cleveland on it. Ace High. It's a they made every flavor of soda. And it's a nice aqua color and it's big. But it has a little damage, but not much. And that just that's how it goes. Here's another one that's absolutely flawless. Ace High. You can see. Um but it says patented I think April twenty seventh, nineteen twenty six. And it's got a seven on it there. This one's just like new. Slightly aqua. They're pretty bottles. Worth saving. And here's the Verner's ginger ale. It's got a little case wear. But I found this a couple videos ago. I didn't find it in this one. It was hard getting clean. I still got cleaning to do to it. There's stuff on the inside of it and stuff. But it's an old, I'd say this is from the 20s. Verner's ginger ale and then on the bottom see it's still got some crud in it bottle bottled under something Pittsburgh PA and it's got a V for Verner's I've not seen that before I've never found it so pretty good find but a pretty decent day I only had two hours to dig so that's why this video is shorter but Thanks for watching, and I'll get back out as soon as I can. I'm going to go up tonight and start part two of this video and dig for like three or four hours. So should have some more finds. So make sure you subscribe, and I'll get another one on see what else comes from there. Later.